Price Action Analyst. Welcome to my YouTube channel. Today I'm having a look at Verge. Um, I'm going to talk about Verge and where I think it's going. And also I've had questions um, on Verge and other cryptos about what the price targets are. And the answer to that is it depends on your situation. So I'll get into that. I just want to talk about Verge first and uh, where I see it going. So Verge has been I think it still is, even though it's getting late, it's a buy in the model portfolio. So, um, you know, it's con it's come down like all cryptos, it's converged in between support and resistance for quite a while. And then it's it's had a, a push up on high volume that's seen it finally um, push through support and cycle, push through resistance and cycle up to the next resistance. Um, and then it's had a lengthy retracement. This has started in uh, June, mid-June, say, um, down to support, um, back down to support, and then uh, cycling down to this support level. Now, um, you know, it could have, you could have argued that there was another support resistance level there. You know, price has gone through it there. Um, and retraced off of it there. I mean, that makes that makes this bounce a little bit more clear. You know, there's definitely some sort of level there. Um, but whether the level's there or not, you know, you should always, you know, when, when it does this, my premise is for it to cycle down to support. So let's say there's no support here. We're always ready, though, for price to come in shallow of support and push up, though, right? You always want to be... Um, malleable when it comes to your expectations because we're following price action and not the other way around, right? So I would have been looking at this previous high. I would have been looking at this level of air. Price comes down outside of the Bollinger Band, leaves a wick, and it retraces. Leaves a wick, retraces, comes back inside the wick and pushes out of that. So it looks like this level's holding um had some days here where it left wicks on the upside which looked very weak and like it was going to test but um it failed to move down here and then pushed up and so i think the buy recommendation was placed here and i i also use the hourly bars to do that um the hourly bars on verge are pretty terrible because it's not that liquid but um i think the buy recommendation was placed here so why i was doing that is because it looked like this level was holding and then the buying was in and I placed a buy recommendation here in it in anticipation of the break of this trend line. So my expectation was from here, price was gonna cycle back up to resistance support, okay? And so, you know, if you go back in time and say, all right, I made a mistake, there was meant to be a, a, a line of support there. here marrying up with these highs well that that makes it all clear as to what was happening there right so um, but I didn't have that in anyways um, price has now cycled up to resistance so given the context of where this is happening i.e. You know this initial move and my projection is to get a second leg up and so um, let me just take these off so given that context um, and this level holding what what I'm now expecting is that um, resistance will, you know, it will push through resistance. This will become support again. Uh, and, you know, it may retest or whatever, but eventually I'm expecting it to cycle back up to resistance. So that is my, 
that's my expectation with with Verge now that we've seen this and the breakout and you know resistance support is here. My medium term forecast, I guess, is for it to cycle up to resistance. So I'll leave that there in terms of what I expect to uh, Verge to do. Again, the buy recommendation was here. The buy recommendation will probably become a hold very soon um, if we get another push up. It's, it's getting late to buy. This retrace was a good place to buy, uh, but it's getting late now. Um, so now I'll, I'll get into price targets, okay? So when we're looking at price targets, I'm looking at places where I expect weakness, okay? When price gets here, I expect, whether it comes in shallow or it washes, I expect a bit of weakness, right? Um, and here too. So where do you put your price targets? So this is where it depends on your situation, right? So if you are, you're a short-term trader, now, short-term trading can be a result of several things. A, let's say you've got a really hi highly leveraged position and as this goes up, you're, you're adding to your leverage. Uh, B, you know, if you're in some sort of futures, you, if you're trading futures um, and you were highly leveraged that way, you can't really afford for price to go against you. So, you know, price might do that. So what makes you a short-term trader is you can't sit through this. So if you're highly leveraged, you get stopped out here and you're done. You don't, you don't get to take part in that. Um, the other way is if your psychology is you're not honest with yourself, uh, price starts to go against you and you're like, oh, I'm losing money and you hit the sell button here. Price takes off without you. Okay. So whatever your reason for being short term trading, like I don't want to talk about whether you're, where, where your psychology is wrong, or you're not being honest with yourself or something like that. Um, but let's just assume that you're a short term trader, this would be your price target. Okay. Um, again, and if psychology wise, if you're honest with yourself, and you can't sit through that, that's your your short term and your your, maybe you just have a sell order there. So for, you know, what I suggest um, to people that are subscribing is that you hold the cryptos outright and we're essentially holding these for the long term, although, you know, we'll take profits at ideal places. So there's no reason why you, if you're doing that, why you can't sit through that. And especially if you have, you know, seven or eight cryptos that are uptrending, you shouldn't even notice that, you know, you're when you you know let's say you're in verge and it has a down couple of days you know even despite verge going down for a couple of days when you log into your your wallet during those days it's still probably going up like you shouldn't even notice this so we can sit through that and price gets you know up here and we're not worried about this we're not worried about this for the same reasons like you know if, if you've structured everything right, you shouldn't even really notice that. So it's only when we get up here that, you know, again, in that scenario where you're holding, you know, seven or eight cryptos, I'm, I don't even really want to exit here. It's just a place where I'm watching to see what the price action looks like. Because there's, you know, two things are going to happen here. And again, you know, roughly two things. It doesn't always this while we're on the topic, you know, this is inside support here off these pivots. When you get a wash of that support, that's a good place to get long. Uh, and when price pushes out of there, it's a really good indication that this is going to head to the next level of resistance. So I'm, I will watch what price action does here. 
um, to determine whether I'm going to sell or not. You know, if price act, if this becomes really deep and you know, price starts doing that. All right, that's that that is that's very bearish. And again, it's late. It's late to be selling, but if I'm long term holding the crypto, maybe I'm adding to my position down here, right? But I can afford to watch this uh, as a, with a longer term horizon. But again, this requires being honest with yourself. You know, if you psychology wise, can you really? If you're holding the crypto, are you really willing to sit through that? Um, you know, I think I am. If you're not, you might just want to have a sell order up here. But I, I think that price is going to get up here. It just, you know, it's it depends on how these, how you know, big those legs are as to whether you can sit through them. So, again, just to summate what I'm trying to say, the price target. I have an expectation that price will get here. It's not necessarily going to do it in a straight line. You're going to get all these, you know, stair stepping, just like you see here. Um, if you're short term, I would just that kind of has to be your price target. Um, and if you're longer term, then I think you can wait to see what happens up here. Um, and yeah, I'm not sure what else I can say. And it, it really depends on what price action does up here. You know, if you get a very strong run up here, then I'm more inclined to hold because, you know, if the momentum is not very strong here on the downside, And it looks like inside support is holding. You know, this, when you see price kind of staying around the resistance level, this is strength. This is price wants to push out of here. So, again, if I have a long term time frame, I can watch that play out. You know, and if it, if it doesn't, you know, if price dips down here, well, I can deal with that and you know decide what i'm going to do but if you're you're short term and your psychology you're not honest with yourself in terms of your psychology then you end up selling down here right um so yeah um so i think i'll leave it there um i expect verge to cycle up to resistance and then the price targets would depend on your your trading time frame which depends on your position and your psychology this would be a short term price target. Um, I'm hoping most people will have that as a, a price target and better yet, just a, a wait and see um, how it gets here and what price does when it gets here. So uh, I hope that's helpful. Um, if you have any further questions, please let me know. Please like and subscribe and uh,